In the last lecture, we learned that Kestrel is the default server implementation for ASP.NET Core. So when we run this ASP.NET Core application, by default, it is going to use Kestrel web server in the background. So in this program.cs file, as we learned earlier, the program.cs is the startup file. That means when we run our ASP.NET Core application, the execution starts from this file. And the first line in this file is the call to the create builder method. This method sets up the Kestrel server as the default server to be used by the application host. Now, how can we verify that? To do that, let's go to this properties and in there we have this launch settings.json file. Let's open that file. So here, this is a JSON file. In this JSON file, we have two keys. The first key is IIS settings and for that key, this object is its value. Okay, this object is its value. Then we have this second key called profiles and for that profiles key, this object is its value. Now inside this profiles, we are setting two profiles, HTTP profile and IIS express profile. And these two profiles are basically the servers which we can use for ASP.NET Core project in Windows operating system. Here I am using Windows operating system. So for the Windows operating system, we have two servers which we can use in our development. One is the Kestrel server and another is the IIS express server. So currently when we are running this project, when we are running this application, here you can see we have this run button. And in front of that run button, you will see this HTTP. So this HTTP is basically this profile, this HTTP profile. And this HTTP profile is basically the Kestrel server. Then if I click on this drop down, here we also have this IIS Express. Okay, we can also use IIS Express to run this application. So this IIS Express is basically this IIS Express profile. So now if I go ahead and if I click on this run button, it is going to use IIS Express to run this ASP.NET Core application. Okay, so by default, here HTTP was selected and this HTTP is our Kestrel server. Now in .NET 6.0, instead of HTTP, you will see the project name. For example, in my case, the project name is my first app. Here I am using .NET 7.0, but if I would have been using .NET 6.0, there, instead of profile as HTTP, we would have a profile called my first app. And here, we would have been seeing that text. But in .NET 7.0, I think they have changed it to HTTP. Alright, so when we are using this HTTP, in order to run this application, behind the scenes, Kestrel server will be used. And for that Kestrel server, here, we are specifying some settings. And in these settings, if you see, both the profiles has this setting called command name. So this HTTP also has this setting called command name. And this IS Express also has this setting called command name. So this command name settings plays a very important role. If the value of this command name setting is project, that means it is Kestrel server. But if the command name is IS Express, that means it is IS server. Okay, so currently here, we have selected this HTTP profile. That means we have selected Kestrel server, which is the default one for ASP.NET Core. So when we run this application on Kestrel server, for that Kestrel server, here we are specifying some settings. And one of the settings is this application URL. So basically, when this application will be run on Kestrel server, this will be the URL for the application. So in order to access this ASP.NET Core application, we will have to type this URL. Let me go ahead and let me run this application. So as you can see, when we have run this application, we are accessing this application at localhost colon 5136. So this 5136 is the port number on which this application is hosted. And it is the same URL which we are specifying here for this HTTP profile. Here if you see, here also the port number is 5136. Let me go ahead and let me stop this application. And here, we can also change the port number. So from the 5136, if I want, I can change this port number to maybe 4200 or anything like that. Okay. Now if I save the changes and now if we run this application, now this application should be hosted on localhost port number 4200. If I go ahead and if I run this application, now you see the URL is localhost colon port number is 4200. Okay. 
So here we can also change the port number on which we want to host our application. Let me stop the application again. And we can also change the profile name. Okay, so basically the profile name here is HTTP. But if we want, we can change this name to our needs. So this HTTP profile is for Kestrel server. So we can go ahead and we can name it as Kestrel. Okay, if I save the changes now, here instead of HTTP, now you should see Kestrel. And if I run this, again, the application is going to be run on Kestrel server. It is going to use Kestrel server. So you can see the URL is localhost colon port number is 4200. So the application is still running on the Kestrel server. The only thing which we have done is we have changed the name of the profile. So that is also possible. But this profile is for Kestrel server. So keep in mind the command name should be project. It cannot be changed. Okay. Then another profile which we have here is the IIS Express. Okay, so when we use this profile, basically from this drop down, when we select IIS Express, it is going to use this IIS Express server to run this application. Okay, and when we use IIS Express as the server, if I scroll up, here we have this IIS settings. So here we are actually specifying some settings for the IIS server. So for example, here we are specifying the Windows authentication as false. But if we want Windows authentication, we can set it to true. Okay, then here we have some other settings, for example, the application URL. So here the application URL is http colon double slash localhost and port number is 55615. So when we use IS Express to run this application, there the URL will be localhost colon 55615 as the port number. Let's actually see that. Let's run this application. And this time we are using this IS Express. So this time the application will be run on IS Express. And when we are running the application on IS Express, you can see the URL is localhost colon and the port number is 55615. Okay. Again, if you want, you can change this port number. But always keep in mind that the port number should be greater than 1024 and it should be less than 65535. All right. Now let's briefly have the look over the settings for each of these profiles. So when we are using this Kestrel profile earlier, it was HTTP. I have renamed it to Kestrel. There we have this command name setting, which is set to project. So when the command name is project, that means that profile is for Kestrel server. Then we have another setting .NET run message, which is set to true. Basically, this settings is used for command line interface of ASP.NET Core project. We have learned that we can also use command line interface in order to create and run ASP.NET Core application. So when we use command line interface and there, when we run some commands, it is going to give us some run messages. So if we want to see those run messages inside this console application, for that, we can set this .NET run messages to true. If we set it to false, in that case, we will not get those messages inside this console application. All right, then we have launch browser. So it is set to true. Basically, when we click on any of these profiles, so here we are talking about the Kestrel profile. Let's go there. So basically, when I click on this run button, it will automatically open a browser. And in that browser, it will automatically access the application URL. Okay, if we set it to false, in that case, the server will start, but we will have to manually open the browser and then we will have to manually type the URL. Then we already talked about the application URL. It is this URL on which the application will be hosted and can be accessed. Then we also have this environment variables. Using this environment variable settings, we can set some environment variables for our Kestrel server or for our IIS Express server. So if you see for the IIS Express server also, we have this environment variables. Currently, we are setting the environment as development in both the cases. But we can also set it to production or we can set it to staged. Then we have the same settings for IS Express as well. There also we have this command name. So here we can change the profile name. So here we can change it to something else. We can call it IIS or something like that. But the command name cannot be changed. It should always be IS Express if we want to use IS Express as the server. Then the launch browser is set to true. Again, when we have set it to true, when we use IS Express here in order to run this application, it will automatically open the browser and in that browser, it will automatically open the application URL. 
and for this IS Express, the application URL can be found here for this IS settings. Okay, so here you can see for the IS settings, here we have this IS Express key. To that, we are assigning an object. In that object, we have this application URL key. So here the application URL is localhost colon double five six one five. So when we use IS Express in order to run this application, there the application will be hosted on this URL. Then here this SSL port is set to zero. That means here we are not using HTTPS. Here we are only using HTTP. All right. Also keep in mind that IIS Express is a lightweight version of IIS Server. Both IIS Express and IIS supports additional features which are not supported by Kestrel. IIS Express is only available for Windows. Since I'm using Windows operating system here for the development, here I have the option of IIS Express. But this IIS Express is not available if you are using Linux or Mac OS. But there you can use Nginx or Apache. Alright, so this was a brief overview of this launch settings.json file. We use this launch settings.json file to configure the server which we want to use to run our ASP.NET Core application in development. Okay, this is all from this lecture. Thank you for listening and have a great day.